Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive for the time being. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know it's disgusting. I am seeking professional help. So if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember a time fondly. If you wanna jump straight to the review, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. In my previous story, I talked a little bit about the last position I had. And I mentioned one time there was a huge blowout in the conference room over some sneaky bites. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link the video up in the corner. Please feel free to start there and come on back. Otherwise, this will make no sense. <laughs> After the blowout in the conference room, the higher-ups needed to do something fast before a mutiny would be upon them. Bad enough, the office was divided between Team Carol, who was mostly the perimenopausal women who would often cry when the copier got jammed. Then you had Team Frank, who consisted mostly of the younger people in the office. However, the oldest guy in our office named Fred sided with Frank because he thought Carol was a no-good stuck-up bitch. His words, not mine. I'll never forget when I asked him, why do you dislike Carol so much? He said, she's the reason why there's soap in the bathrooms. Okay. Now I was on team who gives a shit. I had nothing to gain or lose by joining either team. I just love not working. And if that meant occasionally stirring the pot, so be it. It was a very boring job. So one day I received an email from the administrator asking me to join a work lunch. And basically the reason why they wanted to have this lunch is to basically debrief what happened in the conference room. I agreed, because of course I love awkwardness and free food. And immediately I was sent an invite. So when I was looking at the attendees of this group, now mind you, I did work in an office is about 40 or so people. They couldn't do one big lunch, so they tried to pair the groups up into about eight people. As I'm scanning through the list of attendees, I notice one name. It was the boss, the big boss, the main boss that worked in this branch. And my asshole tightened. He was a very intimidating man who had a very intimidating Tom Selleck type mustache that I'm pretty sure he had since birth. So the day comes and I walk into the conference room full of excitement. And I notice that around the table, there were place cards. So I found my seat and I sat down and I was just waited with bated breath for the awkwardness that was about to transpire. So the boss went around the room and asked us a little bit about ourselves. And while I admire his commitment, it was a tad bit forced. You can tell he didn't care that Doreen had two children and Phil lived in Westchester. You could tell he didn't give a flying fuck about any of this stuff. Now the next person to introduce themselves was a woman named Martha. Martha always kept to herself. And while I was waiting for her to share her two sentences on boring ass bullshit, I realized I don't know anything about her. I actually never even talked to her in the office other than, hi, good morning. So I was actually quite intrigued to see what she had to say. Hi, my, my name is Martha. I, I work in accounts payable and I, I live in Brooklyn. So then the boss replies, Oh, I love Brooklyn. There's so many streets. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of those in, in Brooklyn. Fucking riveting, holy shit. <laughs> so tell me, Martha, are you married? Do you have little ones at home? No, no kids, but um, I was close to marrying. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, he was kidnapped. What? Now everybody, <laughs> Everybody in that lunch literally just dropped their utensil on their plate because I don't think anyone expected that. So we're all like, uh, we have questions. I hope you have enough time to answer all of them. Of course, my lovely boss says, uh, uh, Oh, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, God. So then Martha says, Oh, oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. But the story didn't hold up when I caught him in key food kissing his sister, or so he said was his sister. My boss nearly choked on a sandwich. <laughs> the whole room had a lot of fucking questions. <laughs> and eventually we got to ask them a little bit later, not during this meeting. <laughs> But honestly, that was the best thing I've ever heard in a fucking lunch, ever. After that, for about 25 minutes, we sat in silence. Which honestly was somehow worse because I had to hear everybody eating. And for someone who has misophonia, that is awful. That is my worst nightmare. Anyway, just before the meeting was ending, my boss stood up very sheepishly, didn't make eye contact, just kind of looked, looked down at the table. <laughs> 
because <laughs> I guess he really just did not know what to do. And he said that, you know, he was talking to all the employees about what happened in the conference room, especially when it comes to people's personal property and the madness needed to be stopped or else. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on how you look at it, it didn't stop there. But that's another story for another day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Wayne Goss Lip Collection. And I don't know about you dumplings, but I am so beyond excited to talk about this, to try it, to review it, to blah, 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 because when it comes to lip products, I am a basic ass bitch and I crave for things that are just so disgustingly neutral, you have no idea. <laughs> And I feel like I hit the motherfucking jackpot. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about the lipsticks, the lip gloss, and the lip liner. Let's start with the lipstick. Each lipstick retails for $28, and it comes in this beautiful S&M type packaging that is sleek, weighted, and very fifth element, which I love and adore. There are 10 shades in this whole collection, and while every shade is pure perfection, I picked three shades that spoke to me. Dahlia, a warm pink peach, Lotus, a deep brown pink, and Lily, a rose pink. It's funny because in Wayne's video, he mentions that Lily is his favorite, and that is mine as well. He is absolutely right. It's such a beautiful shade. I could actually see myself wearing this shade every day for the rest of my life. It's that perfect rose nude color, and it's the kind of shade that will go with any and every look. It's the lipstick that is going to live in my bag whenever I get to leave this house to go back to work. In the meantime, I'll have to dazzle my colleagues via Zoom and Microsoft Teams with this lip look. Now when it comes to lipsticks, I'm very picky. I have incredibly dry lips, so I need something that is very, very hydrating and also comfortable to wear. These lipsticks have a beautiful satin finish that are so very comfortable to wear and incredibly hydrating. Of course, they are not kiss proof. It will transfer, but the wear down of this lipstick is absolutely stunning. Even after eating and drinking, I still had some remnants of the product. The lipsticks have a beautiful opacity, and I found that with one swipe, I was good to go. This lipstick applies with ease, and I didn't find it to be overly messy, where I feel like it often bleeds out into the corners and just becomes really, really messy. Honestly, I am beyond impressed. As someone who has incredibly dry lips, to the point where I will go out of my way to find lip balm if I don't have any on me, these lipsticks are incredibly hydrating and very, very comfortable to wear. They don't settle into my fine lines into my lips. I don't get any sort of weird butthole situation. The product doesn't gum up on the sides where it kind of starts getting all matte and weird dry patches. I did not experience that at all with these products. To me, this is very, very similar to the Gucci lipsticks that I have in my collection and at a fraction of the fucking price. So I'll take it. <laughs> And to be honest with you, I am actually tempted to go buy more of these lipsticks in other colors because I love the formula so very much. These are outstanding. I'm so happy that I picked them up. The next product I wanna talk about is the High Shine Gloss. This product retails for $22 and it comes in seven shades. The component matches the lipstick except it comes in a beautiful minimalistic glass bottle. The two shades I picked up in this collection was Cherry Blossom and Hyacinth. Cherry Blossom is a medium neutral pink and Hyacinth is a soft pink peach. Now I usually wear lip gloss over every lipstick, lip liner, you name it, I do it because my lips, like I mentioned before, are incredibly dry. So I need to have something very high hydrating on my mouth, otherwise I feel like I'm gonna die. Dramatic, yes. However, I am what you call a gloss snob. I don't like things overly sticky or those weird glosses that are super plumping to try to give you the effect of a DSL, but in reality, it looks like you got botched. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate those glosses with a passion. And if you don't know what DSL is, look it up. You're welcome. I like my lip glosses to be shiny, hydrating, and not overly sticky, where it feels like I've just been pouring honey all over my face all day, every day. No, no thank you. I just want something that is comfortable. When applying this product, I really enjoyed the fact that I only had to go into the tube once. I didn't have to keep going back in and in and in to build up any sort of opacity or build up any sort of product. The amount that you get on the doe foot, which by the way, is very small and unassuming, but it's actually perfect and very comfortable. It distributes the product so well that you really only need to go in one time. The lip gloss is opaque enough to be on its own, but I really love pairing it over a liner or a lipstick. I love, love, love that the formula does not bleed into the 
outer corner of the mouth or the fact that it's not overly sticky where I get those weird fucking matrix mouth lines. I don't experience that at all with these products. I love both of the glosses that I picked up, but I love Cherry Blossom. I love it so, so very much. It's the kind of gloss, much like the shade Lily, that can be paired with everything that will always look stunning. It's that perfect neutral gloss. The longevity of this product is really good if you're not eating or drinking, much like the lipsticks, but I find that that's expected with lip gloss. However, if you're not eating or drinking and you're just merely talking, the lip gloss does wear down, but it still retains a beautiful shine on the lips. This is fantastic. The last product I wanna talk about is the Essential Lip Liner. This product retails for $14 and comes in five shades. The component is your run-of-the-mill lip pencil. There's nothing exciting about it. I wonder if the product came in a black cap. Perhaps it would be more cohesive in the collection because it does feel a little odd when you have it next to the lip gloss or the lipstick that has that prominent black cap. But honestly, it's a fucking lip pencil. You can't really reinvent the wheel on this one. Now, with that said, I don't own a lot of lip pencil products, but I do have an affinity to buxom lip liners. And for this collection, I was drawn to Natural Berry and Vintage Pink. Natural Berry is a berry pink with a matte finish. Vintage Pink is a beige nude pink with a matte finish. This pencil is very easy to use, and I was able to not only outline my lips, but also fill them in with ease. Both shades are perfect. However, Vintage Pink for me is the standout. Now, as soon as I do have a matte finish, it's definitely not my favorite on the lips, especially if I'm just wearing it by themselves. I feel like my lips are crying for hydration. <laughs> However, as soon as I pair it with the gloss, it feels amazing. The color combinations of mixing both pencils and the glosses and the lipsticks and so forth and so on are beyond beautiful. I love the different color combinations that you can create, but ultimately you're creating this very, very beautiful basic bitch color that just looks amazing with everything. I love it so very, very much. As for longevity, it's fine. Again, when applied with the gloss, if you're eating or drinking, you're gonna have to reapply the product. But if you're just merely talking, I don't notice any sort of cracking or fading or anything like that. I really enjoyed all three products, but for me, my favorites are pretty much the lipsticks and the lip glosses. I really enjoyed the lip liners, but there's something about the lipstick and the lip gloss that are so beautifully hydrating and just so comfortable on my face that I just love. I think the lip liners are very, very beautiful, especially when paired with a gloss, but it's not my most favorite thing in the whole world. It's very, very good, but I feel like the true standouts here, the lipstick and the lip gloss. So I wanna say a huge congratulations to Wayne Goss because this line exceeded my expectations and then some. I'm so excited to be putting this on my face all day every day. And I cannot wait for a restock of some of the lipsticks because I need them all. And with that said, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below if you're interested in picking up any of these products, if you care, if you don't care or anything, just let me know how you're doing. I love hearing from you guys. And on that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. I have two podcasts, one called The Miserable Three, the other one called Dead and Bored. If you want to know what is currently on my face. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Continue to stay safe. Bye.